been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got ourselves a scale. It's actually a kitchen scale. So this can be pretty useful for your kitchen, obviously, when you need to make more precise measurements. So we got this at Costco or Sam's Club, who knows one of those two. In any case, it looks pretty nice. It seems like it's got stainless steel here and uh, it does look like it pulls out, which is kind of interesting. Here are some of the specs. It can measure up to 22 pounds, I guess. Alright, and the company is Polder. So it seems to be really good quality, so let's crack it open and check it out. Alright, so let's get it out. Ooh. It's actually pretty nice. Actually, it's glass up here. This is glass, and this is stainless steel on top. Let's see. There we go. Pretty cool. It comes right out. And this is the maximum length right here. Looks like it's got magnets right here, I think. Yep, they are magnets. Pretty cool. Oops. You can see it's pretty thin. The bottom part is plastic. So, and they got this thing stuck to it, I guess. Operating manual, maybe. That's what it looks like. Let's see what's in this door here. Alright, it comes with batteries. Awesome. I guess you gotta pull this out for it to connect. There we go. Alright, it's glowing. Okay, it looks like there's another paper cover on top. Alright, it's got a purple background. Alright, let's see if we can put it on the table and see if we can weigh something on this thing. Alright guys, so here's a closer look at this thing. It's actually pretty nice. As you can see, the quality looks pretty good. And the numbers are easy to read for sure. So it definitely looks good. All right, so let's look at some features here. We got an on and off switch, looks like, here. And I think these are touch sensitive. So I'm not sure exactly how to turn it off. I'm guessing it has out or off. And then when you want it on, you just touch this most likely. All right, so on this side, we have units here. So right now we're in ounces as you can see. Let's see if I push it. And it actually tells you the max ounces that it could hold there. So, so if I push a unit here, now it goes to kilograms or grams I guess, sorry, grams. And then milliliters I'm guessing, ml. And then ounces, and then fluid ounces, and then just grams. So I'm guessing once you're in the ounces, if you have something heavy, it'll go into pounds here. So it'll like jump, same thing for kilograms. So I guess you would start with ounces and then it would jump to pounds because right here it says max 22 pounds. So pretty cool. Seems very straightforward and easy to use. Alright, so let's put something on here. See if we can measure something. Alright, so for the first thing we got this fancy money looking fidget spinner. Let's put it right in the middle here. Alright, and apparently it's 2 ounces and 7 eighths. How about a pin? Let's do a pin. Put the pin on it. Ooh, quarter of an ounce. All right, so I got this bows here. Let's put it on that. It's pretty heavy. I want to see how good it does with something heavier. And there we go, guys. So you see how it turned to pounds. So we got two pounds and 14 ounces. So actually, this would work okay even to uh, do some light packaging. Most packages are not even that heavy. It does up to 22 pounds. So this would be pretty accurate for shipping even packages. Alright guys, so for the last thing we're going to do uh, this bottle of water which is 16.9 ounces. Okay, so the scale turned off so we're going to just tap it here I'm guessing and turn it back on. There we go. You do have to put a little bit of pressure on here or hold it for it to even come on. So, Anyways, let's put this water on in fluid ounces and see how accurate it is. Should be 16.9 or close to it. And we got 18.5, so I'm guessing maybe that's uh, the, just the water without the bottle. So that's pretty interesting. And let's see maybe how many milliliters we have. 527 milliliters, which is 500 on the bottle. So, so the contents of the inside is correct. It's just, I guess, it's not taking consideration of the bottle. So. 
And as you can see guys, the profile on it is pretty nice overall. It's got a pretty thin profile. Pretty modern look. So, Anyways guys, that will be it for this video. Um, if you want to get a scale like this, then there will be a link in the description. Check that out. Check out our other videos on this channel. And thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.